Hi, Blender friends. Today we going to create, Fluid Simulation with Blender version 2.90. First, I will show my laptop performance. Now create our simulation. Press G, Z, and 1. Press S, X, and scale along the X axis. Add a cylinder. Press S and Shift Z. Don't scale down too much, because it might not be working. This size is proper. Press R, Y, and 90. Set to this position. Press, Shift Z for this view. Go to edit mode and, select this face like this. Press, Shift D, and right click to copy this face. Press P, and select section. Now, these are two parts. You can see a new face now. Select the new face, and scale down like this. Select one dot, and double click, E, and X, to extrude along the X axis. Now select cylinder face and, press 3 to view like this. You can see the cylinder face. Press I and inset like this. Now press, E, and X, to extrude along the X axis. Now do these steps like this. If you are new to our Blender Boost Chanel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. My thumbnail image created with, 256 divisions. But on this tutorial, I use 128 divisions. Because 256 takes a long time to bake and rendering. If you want more resolutions, give 256 divisions. If you like to know, how long time is taken to me baking and rendering, 256 divisions fluid simulation, with i5 laptop, check this link.
If you like to know, how long time took to baking and rendering this 128 divisions fluid simulation, with i5 laptop, check this link. This ecosphere for particles. Grab it out and shift D and X. And grab it along the X axis. Now press, Ctrl G to create a collection. Name this collection as Spray and press Enter. Select Collections. You can see the spray collection we created and select this. Hide the particles from the viewport. Because your machine will be slowed down. Select and right click to shade smooth. I'm not going to talk too much. I think you could understand my steps. If you have any problem, please comment below.
If you like our tutorials thumbs up and share with your friends. This is our final result. If you like this tutorial, please like and share it with your friend. Thank you.